This has to get out, but then we'll get right to the kata in just a moment. Episode four's doobly doo. Brackets aren't allowed, of course not. I can't even do. I can't even do angle brackets. stream won't we'll take but a mint maybe is twitch stream that is in here Twitch code for the episode and developer stream TBD's new yet. Hey Ruben. Getting this getting this video is all uploaded. It's ready to go actually. But did that. Let's get that is there. Put into the Hell Not to F sharp playlist. Made for kids. More options. And what do we get? F sharp. But programming. Uh, programming tutorial. I don't know what else we put on there. It doesn't much matter. Say that that's in English or whatever the thing is that I call that I that I call what I speak. Uh, no, no. Da, da, da. Not gaming. Have here science and technology, we'll call it. There we go. That file name is that. We say next. Nope, we're good. Nope, we're good. We're going public. Don't appear in the video. I publish that. I publish. Grab that. I will put that in there. So that's a how not to a short video. It shipped on. It shipped on Friday. So there we go. Shipped on Friday. As promised. Okay, so my light is just not working as well as it could with. Mm hmm. Maybe it's the whiteness here. That's a bit better. All right. Real quick, make sure that what do we have? We have a couple things different. Big deal. Fix a couple things. All right. All right. Terminal. It. It add. Okay. It commit. 
one final check in after episode. Yep. Yeah, and you push. So there it is. So there's that. Got all that. That's well. Hey, coding with loose. What's going? We're going. We're going to do a kata today. That's what we're doing today. We're doing a kata in the F sharps. Get over to that workspace. And everybody, that's old coding with code with loose. Because code with loose does the Xamarin's on stream. Sometimes helps out her friends in Australia. Also doing Xamarin from time to time. We're going to go, today we're doing the Evercraft Kata. Oh, and hey, Luz, did you have you seen? Doesn't quite have. This is TBD's thing, where he doesn't quite have the. Uh, then it's not GitHub pages, so it's so it's not. Uh, takes forever. Not GitHub pages, but when we when it does load up, and it will load up. Here's kind of. Yep, and Searle's <laughs> here. And we're going to also, while we're here, even though... We'll also give a shout out to the, to the, one of the, one of the co-authors of the kata that we're about to do, the Evercraft kata, is Guy Royce. I've never talked to George Walters the second, the second. But so Guy Royce does stream a couple times a week, and has a very very beardy beard, and go for the beard, if nothing else. So, yeah. So here is TBD Gamers Project Developer Stream. So if you're a streamer. Do, do I know any streamers in in the chat? I think I know a streamer in the chat who get, can get on um, get on the list. That's just it's just the thing he's doing. So a a small it's like a small classified ad, but that's what he's doing. So put the, put your issues in. Get your get get your name on yet another yet yet another tiny little promotional website thing. But so he just just did that, and I was like the guy who tested out the issue system thing. So all right, we are here. We have a terminal. We yes, well yes. During yesterday's episode, we did make uh, the boilerplate X unit and other app. And and library, we'll wind up getting rid of this guy with the very first thing. But so, we are ready to go. And well, let's get a where are my did I put put under F sharp? Did I put it here? There we go. Here's a link. To, oh, but I don't have anything checked in, so I should have. So I should check something in at this moment. Hey, coding loose. I am teaching .NET tonight to a few JavaScript TypeScript devs as part of Madhouse Steve's Friday Night with Friends night. Can't do shoutouts, but might do with it if you don't mind. So yes, 7 p.m. BST, and so that's in just. Uh, that's 1 p.m. my time, which is in just nine hours. Yeah, in nine in nine little hours. That's going to be a thing. But less than nine, so it's like eight. Yeah, because I'm almost at I'm almost at 5 p.m. But now, yeah, we got we got the Madhouse D, right? Let's.
Yeah. We'll totally shout that out so that's that's a thing to do later. Uh, absolutely. We love we love to promote each other. We are uh, we are part of parts of live coding, but more than that, with uh, there's little there's little little fellowships within it. Whereupon we go well, it's a mutual benefit society. It is what it is. It's several small mutual benefit societies. Okay. Okay. So we're 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 here. We have the Evercraft cat in front of us. And we have oh, did and I didn't post. Did I post a link to the kata? I did not post a link to the kata. Let's post a link. Kata. So, in this exercise, you, me, will build out a domain model for an MMORPG called Evercraft for the company Blizzards of the Coast. Just follow the requirements. Pairing, well, we're going to mob. I'm the driver and part of the mob, and you're the mob. Uh, your code, of course, and have fun. This doc document and template project is blah, blah, blah. You can find it. May all your rules be 20s by Guy and George. Thanks, Guy and George. Very nice. Thing. So requirement number one, this iteration covers core functionality for leveling combat and character abilities and step, step one, create a character. As a character, I want to have a name so that I can be distinguished from other characters. So we need a way to have a character. But I don't have to necessarily have a character. So here's what we're going to do. So I can get, so the requirement says, can get and set the name. So let's do that. A test. And we'll call you character test. Okay. Your name? Well. Oh wait a minute, that's, I don't want to be in that one. Character tests. Now when I do that, I have to actually change the name here. <clears throat> I'm in VS Code today. Because VS Code is the way to make sure that we can still build dot net build. And we're still fine. So good. So what don't you like? Stuff you don't like. And now it's fine again. So all you module character tests. And let's say um that name. It sets the name of the character. First off, I need a let character equal I will put some point character to create one, which we don't have yet. Say so let Name equals uh, who, who are we gonna have today? Well, he's not here. There we go. We're gonna call our character David. Character that name name. Now that actual is gonna be character. Character. We're gonna have to do some sort of get name thing. We actually get through both character get name. We're gonna say even let expected. So let expected. Expected is name. Let actual is that, and we're going to assert full expected and actual. And now none of these things exist. 
in the slight. Hey, you got up. Look at what? You just you just couldn't sleep. You just couldn't stay away. Ah. Oh, and yes, uh, and might yeah. Well, there. See, see the the panther, the panthers, the the mama panther, really. All right, so I've now got a test, and TBD Gamer is up entirely too early. Just didn't he just couldn't stay away, and I'll also the. The uh, the thing is up, and let me go over to the YouTubes. I can go to my channel, and here's that thing. Pipes and other plumbing, which we recorded yesterday, and I edited last night. So now we have a test that says I can create a character, I can set their name, and I can get their name. And uh, set name and get name. They set and get the name. So really, that's supposed to work this way, but. Let's get. Your namespace Evercraft module character. Let say you're going to be called set name. Is what um, phrase not implemented exception. Whoa, look at that. it's huge. Okay. Last week I was our last Friday with friends and we didn't have a concrete plan and made the voice call on Discord. Way too easy to join. Then up with a dude who made 70 people uncomfortable that he got banned on many streams. But figures So here's here's the thing. So here's the here's the thing. Um so I have um, on my on my Discord, I've got a stream friends. There, there it is. My I have my stream friends voice channel, but you see, there's a little lock next to it. If you see over here, of the people on my Discord, there aren't all that many purple people. You have to be a purple person <laughs> to to get into that channel. For for exactly that that sort of reason. Open system. And name is a string. And it returns a new character. And if you accidentally leave yourself in there and then you go on stream, I will come on to your stream too. It's true. But it wasn't bad. But that's not good. See, I'm not gonna I'm not going to make things uh too uncomfortable. I'm going to ask impertinent questions. But impertinent questions are worth asking. Get name. We also need a character to be a character. Turn that into a character. Get name. Character. Character. Bring. Bulls.
Start my build. Work, please. Discord does have a lot of really great pieces of functionality there. That's my problem here. Ah, I need to uh, bring that in. And what I didn't do? Aha. Did I? I did not. Overcraft dot tests dot net add reference dot slash overcraft. You should really have a poll, people. The don't want one of those. You're looking for craft that test. Craft that test of assembly hook could not be found. It does not want. I do not want. That's curious. Interesting. Why do you even want that? Hmm. Let's do it. Yep. Where did I just type? I don't even know where I just typed. That next thing. And that build. Ah. Okay, there's that. No, I don't have a create. Let create character equals character is equals default. Press again. By now. Very right now. Okay. And a dot net test. So my test should fail. Yes, sadly, humanity is what it is. No test is available. Oh, I did not mark it as a test. But I, but I, but I did. It's a fact. But, but I did. Got my test. But to work. Okay, .net. Clean. .net build. .net test. Why are you giving me such a hard time today, VS Code? I don't know. VS Code is drunk? I don't know. No test is available, but it is. It's a fact. You're making me mad, dude. Makes no sense. Let me quick make. Okay. But net new X unit. Um three L's. Or as slang F sharp and his name three L's. Just to try something. 
And if I cd to the three L's, but not build. If I dot net test it, it should tell me that there's a there's a test. Okay, it runs a test. What is different between the three L's project? And the is the difference. My test is that. Your toucher is that. This it figures it out. Even this figures it out. Well, this is this is no fun at all. So the only actual difference is this is called module test. And this is called a a test or whatever it's called. And my test. It's sensitive to things. No period in it. Equal all that. Oh, then. In my solution, do I have it in my solution file? I have it in my solution file, right? Sure do. Hey, everybody, today we're going to debug why I can't. And Test. Good test for the New Year reverence of All right, is there something that I did here? Let's grab all of this. Let's throw that in here. Or, you know what, it could be an ordering thing. As goofy as that sounds. Nope. Up, up, up. Wait. Ah. Nope. Oh, Alright. That was it. I do. I. That, literally. That needs to be before that. Okay. It's fine. So now I should be actually be able to do character tests and get the same result. Yet another example of why you don't want to use F sharp. <laughs> So that fails, and then I can still go. I can go back. Uh, get name and or set name and get name. They set and get character's name. And so I should give me that. No, yeah, F sharp is to blame here. Yep. <clears throat> so now we're fine. We're going to be fine for the rest of the session. I think you're just angling to create a really niche skill set so that when they realize that F sharp is great, <clears throat> you're one of the few devs who can do it and profit. You're absolutely right. You've figured out my subtle, subtle plan. And it takes so much work gathering one person at a time. But 
All right. Time to have a character that create. Next thing, this should be called character. This needs to be called character in the FS proj file. Now, unlike unlike a C sharp project file where it just compiles everything in the in the folder, that's got dot cs. F sharp requires that it be specified in the project file. Not only does it need to be specified in the project file, but it needs to be specified in order. So if there's something dependent, it has to be higher up, because you must have the things that are dependent higher up. In that in that thing, in that fun. Okay. So I make I've decided to make character a discriminated union. So really, the character just has one possible value, which is default. I have now <clears throat> named of string star character. This is how I'm going to name things. This is how I'm going to name things. You have to always start with a default character at the very core of your character, but then after that, you can name them. So I'll show you exactly how this works with the set name. Anytime you have a character, I'm going to do, I'm going to return a named, name star, or name comma character. So now, <clears throat> now it returns a character that is a named one of these, and that's going to be the name. And that's the character inside of it. So you just keep tucking it into into the new thing. That's how the whole thing's gonna work. Discriminated unions. Now, how do you get this out? Is a different thing. So now, uh, now that part would well isn't going to pass anyway. <clears throat> I'll have to make a recursive function. Where I have to match character with, and if it's a named name, I can return the name. What are you not liking? Incomplete pattern. So, in default, up named name. And we don't care because we found the name. But defaults to empty string. So this is this is our name getter and setter. Now we should be able to do dot net test. And it works. We can now get and set a name all day long. All done. Discriminated union. Go back. <clears throat> As a character, I want to have an alignment so that I can have something to guide my actions. You can get and set alignment. Alignments are just good, evil, and neutral. Do the same so we need. Oh, I don't need that anymore. Figured it out, but thanks. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of ceremony. So my character test. I'm going to do another fact. Let. Um. Get. I'm going to start with get alignment. You know what also I didn't do? I didn't do get name. It defaults to empty string. I really do like let character be character create. Oh. 
Same there. Let expected be that. Let actual be the character. Character get name and assert equal or equal. So we're in X unit expected and actual. And I will run that just to be sure. We'll make we get first make it that so that it fail it can fail. Good job. All right. How about that? Without the slash. Oh, so no. Turned false. So it it fails because I'm expecting a one. And now it passes. Now we're going to make a fact and let it alignment it defaults to neutral. I'm going to do let character be character create. Okay, let expected the alignment neutral, which we don't have yet. Let actual be character character dot get alignment. I'm going to assert full. Um, expected and uh, actual. Okay, so we don't have any. We don't have any such thing as get, get alignment. So let's have one. This time we're going to make this one's not going to be a discriminated union. This one is going to be a uh, uh, enum. So you want to know the difference between. Not environment variable target evil. So this right here, this is what this would be a discriminated unit, but I don't want one of those. Or maybe I do. For any reason I don't want to do that. Of course then I don't need to do that. Let's put it as a discriminated union. Find out because there's not really I always prefer those. For those to, uh, <clears throat> to um, enums, because enums can go outside of the range, but a discriminated union cannot. Okay, and we're going to say let let get alignment character is a character. Alignment, and the way to we'll just have a return good so we can see that it fails. And again, it doesn't. What? What is your problem? How about clean with one end? Not in that bold. I can spell. I can spelling. A test. Don't. What aren't you liking from me? Yay, people starting to move. What don't you like? What is your problem? Projects are in the correct order.
not be found. But I tell you, know, who's making you? I may have to just flip over to Visual Studio to see what in the world this pro this thing's problem is. Oh, I go over there. CD so CD Evercraft tests. .NET build. .NET test. No test is available. Why is no test available? .NET restore. Oh. Clean. What is going on? Something something weird is getting cached. Give me something useful. Still no. So what is going on here? We'll do that. We're going to get and set name. We know that one worked. Okay, so that one is fine for some reason. And another one. There should be two tests, and that should pass with no problem. Okay, that one passes. It's one of those things where if you introduce them gradually over what over one one at a time, then it's fine. Ah, okay. So, what is, now it's fine? That makes no sense at all. Let's restart VS Code, shall we? All right, let's start over. That's exactly what I wanted. This is ionide. Everybody, this is ionide over here. Ionide over on the side there. Uh, it it likes to be in charge. Okay, so that's all fine at the moment. So it returns good. So new troll. Now, now will it pass? Three tests are passing. Yay for that. Now so let's be able to set the alignment. Let alignment it sets the alignment. Oh, there you go. I'll just say it's I'm gonna go to each one. One to good, one to evil. So let character equal character dot create dot create character 
set alignment good let expected oh. character Write that into character dot get alignment hope that's actual actual let expected be good assert equal expected action Yeah, I suspect VS Code is having a hard time. So that can't work, so I need a set alignment. Alignment is an alignment. Character. Character. Turns a character. Is not a bunch of exception. Doesn't matter what it does, just make it explode. Dot net build. Net. What does it? It is an ionide caching thing, isn't it? It is. Ionide is in my way. Disable you. Reload required, of course it is. Uh, ionide. Ionide is quite useful I often wrestle with it for certain types of f-sharp dev I and is absolutely essential but I believe that it's getting in my way today Don't you like? What is going on? Okay, I'm opening you, going to open you in Visual Studio. See if there's something weird about my project that I've I've done sort of horrible thing. Projects. Did I put it here? Where did I put it? There it is. We're in Visual Studio now. We're going to see. Rebuild the whole solution. Okay. And let's go to our test explorer. I'm going to conclude. Hold on. Okay. So that so there's that's the one. So this is what I expect to see. So there's some must be something amiss with how I have VS Code figured. I'm going to make that assumption that because it's because it's usually not VS Code. That's okay. We have a way forward. We're going to do it here. Up here. We're going to run tests after build all the time. That's the alignment. Wait for it. There we are. So when we set the alignment to good, we want a way to set the alignment. But we don't have a way of setting the alignment. 
So we're going to do this. We're going to say aligned of alignment times character. So when we set the alignment, we're going to do is we're going to return aligned alignment character. That's going to set it. And then we have to. Well, one thing that you'll immediately see is this thing squiggled. So they say, hey, we don't have what about aligned? What about that? Aligned, whatever the alignment is, and inner. So they might have, have that on the top, so I really just go inner, get name. And that satisfies that. So anytime I do that. Similarly, with my alignment, which match character width. I know that default will return neutral. I know that aligned alignment, it doesn't matter what else there is, I'm going to return alignment. And I know that named doesn't matter inner I have to keep looking for it but you're going to see that this is red squiggle because I did not which I didn't explain before but the recursive function you have to put rec in there if you want a function to be able to call itself I did that without really thinking about it because I know but you don't know if you haven't done it. It, it, ionide, what ionide does is, let me, let me go in here. It, it helps with building and whatever. You don't need it though. It's, if you're going to use fake and MS build and their, and their whole build system. But yeah, let me, let me go over it. Let me go over that. What does it do? Code. Yeah, it it does a lot of the things. It's like it is intelligence. It does a lot of stuff. It is not absolutely essential to have it. And I always struggle with it because you got to go, if you want to do stuff with ionide, you have to do things the ionide way. And so if you want to use ionide, you totally do all of the things it says because I just go, okay, turn on ionide. But that's not enough. It needs more than that. It's got its own um, dependency management system. It's got packet. It's all sorts of In F sharp, there's a whole lot of the we're going to do it my way. And there's so ionide packet and fake, which is F sharp make. Actually, when I'm doing ionide, I should probably have all of those. But I've not had good luck with ionide in VS Code. But it's okay, because I do okay in uh, Visual Studio. So now let's run, let's do these tests. So I and I, they want you to think you need. That's they, them, they, you know, they with capital T. There's that. We have all, all tests are passing. So we go back. Our set alignment, armor class, and hit points. As a combatant, I want to have an armor class and hit points so I can resist attacks from my enemy. I'm going to go with I have an armor class that defaults to 10 and has 5 hit points by default. We can kind of go with the same thing. So, 
Uh, this does not tell me that I have to be able to set the armor class. Just that I have 10, I have an armor class of 10 and I have 5 hit points. I can, I can cruise through this with, uh, with very little problem. Okay, you want me to have default hit points. Alright. Let's let get armor. You know what? We have enough people from over there. You can we can you can have your U get armor class. It retrieves the armor or class of the character. So let character be character dot create. Let armor armor equals character. If I'm not careful, I can retrain my muscle memory to spell it this way. It are more are more class. But we'll just call you we'll call you actual because that's what we want. But expected equals ten. Assert equal expected. So, and we build it, we don't have nothing. Uh, we don't have get armor class. We need that bad boy. I'm going to say let that. And it's a care, it's like, doesn't matter who it is. Int. Uh, we're just going to return 10. That's what we're going to do there. Actually, that causes that test to pass right away. So let's make that fail because we have to have a failable test. We have you have to have a test that can fail. Otherwise, what you don't know it's actually testing anything. Okay, it will fail if I have a bogus number in it. Well. Make a hit points test also. Get hit up. Get hit points. It retrieves the hit points of the character. Let character full character create character create let expected five let actual character character get hit points and assert equal expected Actual. Actual. No, actual. We don't have a get hit points. We need to have it just barely compiling. Let get hit points. Whatever character. Int. And it's expecting five, so let's make it do the wrong thing first. Oh, get hit point. I can pluralize. So, all right, get hit points. Does that? Does it? Does it pass? Does it fail? It fails. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna fix it so that it returns five instead. 
I'm going to run it, and that test passes. And we move on. Character can attack. As a combatant, I want to be able to attack other combatants so I can survive to fight another day. Roll a 20 sided die. Well, don't code the die, which means we're not going to actually put the random number there. But roll must eat, meet or beat opponent's armor class to hit. So what I have here... is a different sort of thing. So I'm going to make a new add below. Add above, add below. I'm going to add below. Uh, I can add above. Wait. For this In the case of the test, I can add above. It's called attack tests. Do our module attack tests, and that's fine. Grab that. Over here, back tests. And let. Okay, we're going to just make a function called attack.resolve. It reports success when the die roll exceeds the. Uh, defender's armor class. So we're going to say let. What a fact here! It's a fact. Let defender be character. Create. So create a character. So let actual be attack dot resolve. Now we're going to have the die roll last. So we're going to have defender and we're going to also have a die roll. Let's die roll. Start with 10 because that one will hit. Die roll. And let expected be if it hits that, then it's okay. Uh, assert equal expected. Cool. But thing is, we don't have an attack dot resolve. We don't have an attack at all. But we need to add it below character because it's going to rely on character. Here's module attack. So I actually want to put it into namespace. Namespace Evercraft. Evercraft module attack equals let resolve vendor which is here die roll and int going to return a bool whether or not it is successful but right now First thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, raise not implemented exception. And so that's going to just absolutely explode. Okay, a test that fails. Excellent. That's when there's okay. Now in a minute here, I'm going to be able to do some cool stuff. If you've not used X unit, if you've not used the theory mechanism in X unit, it's pretty cool, and I'm going to be able to use it here. Character test. I need attack test. I need attack dot resolve. So there is attack dot resolve, but it's still working on this. Figuring it out. There it goes.
So really I need to know is my die die roll greater than that's all it is really, so die roll greater than or equal to uh defender character hit armor class. That's all I care about. So is that die roll equal to or greater than the, the armor class? If so, great. And now my test should pass because I am giving it that. It does. And now, here's a cool, super cool thing. I'm going to change my fact into a theory. Yeah, theory. And I'm going to have a die roll, which is an int, and expected, which is a bool. Put some inline data in here. Start with what we've got for our values. We don't need that, and we don't need that, because now those things come in from the inline data. Check to make sure that that still passes as we expect, and then we'll add a bunch more. Run them. It does. So now, <clears throat> we know that the die roll is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we know that four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, no. Let's get the whole line. Ten. Twenty. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> I know, <clears throat> I know, I will get. I should get nine failures because these are not correct, and but I should get these, the rest of these, as being successful. <clears throat> okay, so I've got. I should have nine failures. I do. Turns all those things. So now I will. Those are not true. False. We'll run them again. They should all be successful. And I've covered the entire spectrum of the D D20 roll with one test. <clears throat> so yeah, the theory mechanism in XUnit is very, very cool. Okay, we, we did that. We got that. That's fine. So 20 side, don't code the die. I didn't. You pass it in. Roll must meter beat the opponent's armor class to hit. Okay. Character can be damaged. If an, if an attack is successful, other character takes one point of damage. When a natural 20... If a roll is a natural 20, then a critical hit is dealt and damage is doubled. When hit points are zero or fewer, the character is dead. So you have a couple of things. One, hit points don't always remain five. But what it also means is that when I solve an attack, when I resolve an attack, something else has to happen. It reports success, reports success. And it well it returns success and a mutated character. It returns ugh, come on. Returns success and a mutated character. So now actual result, comma, actual character. So you are actual result. Expected result. 
in your descriptive result doesn't do this yet, so it's it's underlying saying, hey, 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 what is, what's going on here? And we're also going to have expected hit points. Int. The expected hit points should be five for all of these. And it should go down by one for all of these, except for this one where it should go down there. So these are all of my expectations. And then, insert full expected hit points. And yep, it's actual character, character, character hit points. Now it can do this, but it still doesn't know anything about that, so I have to get that to just compiling. So we're going to have a tupled result. And the thing to just barely get that to compile is go, okay, just return to the defender. Don't do anything to him yet. We're going to get some failing tests because it doesn't modify the hit points in the slightest. Let's see how many t failing tests we have. Run them all. All right, so we have 11 failing tests because uh, they are scripted for, okay, so Okay, so the die roll is 13, the expected result is true, and the expected hit points is 4. So yes, it should go down. The hit points should go down, but they don't. But they don't. Why don't they do that? Because I have no mechanism to do anything but get hit points. So I need, a, I need to be able to set hit points. But that, um, that did not just come off of hit points. The characters have hit points. That comes off of um, I didn't have a need to set hit points until this very moment. But in order to do that, I do need another test. Let. Called set hit points. It sets the hit point of the character. Say let character full character dot create let expected and this one I think we'll start off with it as a theory with just one inline data. In one data. So let's say you set it to four, and that's what it should be. If I set it to four, it should be four. That uh, hit points in, input. Okay, so given hit points, expected hit points, and yes, it's the same thing. But so I go let. We're going to set the hit points. Character set hit points given hit points. Actually, I don't even need this. Actual hit points. Is that I'm going to assert full expected hit points be the actual hit points. I'm going to make this assumption. I'm going to make these explicitly ints. I'm going to make a set hit points that does nothing. Let set hit points 
have the number of hit points, which is an int. We don't care what that is yet. And we have a character, which we don't care about yet. Returns a character. So we do care about the character. So the, since it mutates it, equals, I'm just going to return the character. That's the simplest possible thing that we can possibly have done here. That should figure it out. Hey, Sir Skull Legend, what's going on? Welcome back to the grumpy little corner of Twitch. Saves the thing. Figure it out. Oops, that hit point. I keep not putting the S on there. My group test, there it is. Okay. So equal is what? Expenses, we've been there. Eh. Expected hit points. Oh, I've now someone going to get the hit points. Pipe that right in there. Set hit points to the given hit points and grab out the hit points. I'm going to compare it to there. Okay, you should fail. Because we don't actually set them. On my attack test, I'm only worked, worked working on this particular set hit point test. So now, how do we get this one to pass, and then we'll get back to those other ones. I'm going to make a thing called hit pointed. Or, uh, with hit points of int times character. So when we set the points, we're going to return with hit points, hit points, hit points, character. Stapling it on there, simplest thing in the world, creates a new thing. But now you have, hey, wait a second. This, these don't know how to. These don't know anything about with hit points. With hit points, of a matter, inner, inner, hit name. Same thing. This one's get alignment. So pretty quickly on, you're seeing. You're going to see that, hey, there's going to be a lot of these, aren't there? Yes. Get the hit points needs to be something similar, so I have a character. I have to do the same thing. Match character with. Whatever with hit points. Points. Doesn't matter. I'm going to return those hit points. But if we have default, we know that we return five. And if we have aligned, doesn't matter. We have hit points. Which means it has to be recursive. And if he's named, Inner get so then all those things now work and it should pass now. It should pass now. Just this test though. These other ones. Well these other ones might suddenly pass too. Let's find out. Well, that one does. Still. Ah, because actually it's not taking away anything. So, in my attack at resolve, all I'm doing is I'm taking the defender. So, 
let is success that put success here. Let this is going to be a little weird to you. Defender B. If success, then else. Defender. Um. The defender. Set our character. Set hit points. Success, then, well, we have to do some damage. So we let damage D if I roll equals 20, then do else 1. This is what we have. So set hit points. Um, defender. Character hit hit points. Minus damage. And it may or may not. Doesn't like it. Like. Parentheses. So that's kind of. Yeah, so that's that gets a bit on the unreadable side. So I'm actually going to go with that hit points, that original hit point. Be best. And let updated the original hit points minus damage. That's very that's pretty readable. The updated hit point. So we're going to make, we're going to mutate defender and go, all right, so that's a thing. Now, this thing should all pass. And they do. That's a fine, fine place to at least check in. I'm going to close it. I don't need to open. Isn't that lovely? That, that, that's nice. I'm going to check in at this. I got to go. Um, so after. Back successful with 20. We don't have any concept of dead, so that's the part that we're on to next. Is like after damage taken from attack. That's what we got. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go wake up my wife, get some new coffee. Do it, 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 do it,
And I'm back, and let's see, we've had some chatting. Alright, so... I've won before, okay, so we have, we have dentists, thankfully. Okay. Use tobacco, and the dentist doesn't like you. Well, they, they tend not to, well, it's not that they don't like you. They'll still take your money and tell you you're doing it wrong. Uh, dentists. I only have six teeth. These six. I have plastic teeth, like beardy. Okay, when hit points are zero or fewer, the character is dead. Let's make a is dead function. We go, there's a way to go, he's dead. Oh, but first, let's do some of this. Ooh, you know what? You put that in here. We'll, we'll do this here. Na, 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 na. Oh, four, three, two, one, zero. Zero, one, three. So there's that. Land of milk. Mostly milk. More milk than honey. So what's the, what is the Johnson, America's Dairyland, America's, yeah, so America's Dairyland, known as America's Dairyland, we got cows, so the land of milk anyway, not so much honey, but milk. Actually, it's cheese. I don't know. It's the uh, Wisconsin State Quarter. Take a look at it. There we go. Yep. Where is it? Yep. Your wedge of cheese. It's, <laughs> this is so. There, here's your cow. Here's your cheese. You got corn too. So, cheese. You want cheese? Give us the cheese. But in any case, whatever. All right. And milk and honey. Just milk. milk. It is. It's milk.zip. Yes. Milk.zip. So the people from here are called cheeseheads. We are called cheeseheads. This, these should all pass, and then I'm going to also put in here, is he dead? And we're going to add another one called, you're expected to be dead there. Put this in here. And we're going to call you, how is the corona situation? Let's, let's look, shall we? Uh, let's look. Let's let's check the map. Come on. I don't want to hold any old time. We're here. So we are we are redder than some of our neighbors, but we're not quite as red there. So there we go. But compared to some other areas, we're not like this. It's pretty. <laughs> Let's 
So if you can tell, it's like mountains, Maine. If you take a, yeah, if you take a look at the map of Smoke and Fire. The Smoke and Fire map is right over here. Smoke and Fire. Disease. Uh, let's see. Fam, do we have do we have one for? Do so we have fire? Uh, pestilence, famine. Welcome to Merca. How would you? Been thinking about. Was thinking about buying some land in California. I'll have mine medium well. Thank you, medium well. <sighs> Too soon. Too soon. See, now we did. We've done. We've done a lot of work to eradicate smoking, and then we just decide. Well, we'll just put smoke in the air. <laughs> Of course, you know, okay, so here's the thing. It's not pollution. When you have forest fires, that's not pollution. And really, I'm pretty sure it puts pollution to shame. All right, so I'm going to put an is that. So expect, so, uh, expected deadness, which is a bullet. And I'm going to uh, let actual deadness be. I don't have a character, do I? Ha ha! Let character be this part. And actual deadness is the character. Character. Get, get deadness. For lack of a better term. Get hit points. We're going to say get deadness. So let get deadness. Character. And it's going to return a bull. And we're just going to say he's not dead. He's not dead. I feel happy. All right. We should get one failed test. Oh. What? Oh. I should assert. Equal expected deadness. Actual deadness. There we go. Nice. Now we got one. That's the hit points of the character. Yes. So uh, it, should, it never returns true. So our character is always character get hit points less than or equal to zero. So, deadness is related to the hit the points. Not on. Is not on. I wonder. Gotta put the gotta put the heating pad on, don't you know? So now all the tests are passing and we can move on. Character has ability scores. So I need to be able to set them. Am I putting this in GitLab? I absolutely am. Do I, I have it here? And I don't have it up to date yet, but let me I can I can quickly check it in at this point because we are green. Go here, let's do changes. Attacker and now uh, defender in back takes damage. Go. Yeah. 
in sync. And what I should really do is go over here to Nightbot, right? But and put two things. One. Put a custom command in here, set a command. Data it. That one. And also put another new uh, kata. So that we can have that at our disposal. So there's kata, data, and then kata it. Where you can find it. So we have those things. We're going to work on these only on Fridays. Because they are fun. But all right, so next, I have ability scores. They are strength, dexterity, constitution, wisdom, intelligence, and charisma. They can range from that. And they have modifiers according to... So Step one, they need to have ability scores. That's a character test. So let's start with a fact. Let. Set ability score. It sets given ability score uh, a value for a given character. All right. Let's say let character. Character gate. Going to character set ability or call it. We're going to start with strength because that's always the first one on the list. We're going to set his strength to 18 because that's a nice high number. And now here is a here is a decision point, right? So. There's not really, there's, I want to set strength 18, or do I want to set strength 18? Because is this, do I want to be able to go, okay, there, here's a function for setting strength to a particular number. Yep, okay, I'm going to leave it curry. So, and then let... So wait, I should do get ability score. Ah, it defaults. It defaults. A given ability score to 10. So this is better. Okay, so we're gonna get ability score. Actual. Get the ability score of strength, and we're going to say let affected 10, and we're going to assert full affected actual. So, okay. And what we're going to do, though, is line data. And because of this, we don't can't use a discriminated unit anymore, so we're going to do ability dot strength. So I can put that in there. Ten. Ability. Ability. And affected. Call you ability. So we don't expect it as that. Okay, so now we just have to go and make 
very late. Okay, type ability equals strength equals one, which makes it an enum. This is how you make an enum. This is a discriminating union, doesn't have equals number. This is an enum. And that's how you do that. Now I save it, it will all work itself out. I don't have a get ability score. Let get ability score ability ability and character matter what they are anymore. It doesn't matter at this point. We'll leave you there. We we know that we're going to need you very very momentarily. You are an int and return ten. Oh, we'll have you return eleven just so we can see that that test fails. Okay, so that one does fail. So I set it to ten and it passes. Still doesn't pass. It's the ability score to but don't operation. Allowed to have parameter. Oh, they're not fact. Okay. Theory. Try it again. But I did not see the test fail for for actual for the right reason. You gotta fail and gotta fail for the right reason. Expect the wrong thing and get it okay. Not get that good. So now I can march the rest of this out of there. Verity Constitution. Um, Legend. Wisdom. And charisma. So now we have all those. You can set all those all day long. Over here in a character test. Six. Thirty. Fusion. Intelligence is dumb. Erasma. Okay, so now all six of those should pass. Yay, verily. All right. Good, good. So then we should, you need to be able to set them. We need a test for setting it. Let set ability score. It sets given ability score a given value for a given character. Does so ability. Assigned value and expected value. Make we will make it a make it a theory from the get go. You know. So when we set it to ten, so we're gonna go with ability dot strength set it to 10 and we expect it 10 set it to 11 and expect it to be 11 well that actual character create 
going to set character set ability. No, nope, set ability. Here, set ability score. Find value. New character get ability. Ability. And assert equal did value the actual well that's a test now our character we can set this ability score but set ability score ability which is an ability um score int character character give me character that return the character so that is the quickest way to get that thing building get this test failing test that fails that it does nothing I expect at 11 it's a 10 So, and this will be the last. This will have to be the last one for today. So, going to do this with ability score of ability times int times character. All right. Now it goes, hey, hey, we have to handle this and all this, but with ability score, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, inner. Hit. Getting the alignment, we also need to provide a way to get there. hit points right time don't have any more of those setting the ability score is quite simple say with ability score. Ability score and character. And that's done. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. But our get ability score is broken. Or it does not work. So we again have to do a match. Character with a default gives us a 10, no matter what. So that's still true. But, but with a bloody score, yeah. doesn't matter when a bloody. That's when we return B. That's when we care. With ability score other than that, anything else? Get built. Get. Got recursive now. Score. That works for that. So if, if so you have to have two of these. One, I found the variability score that I'm looking for. The other one is I didn't. I also go with um, with hit points, whatever. Enter. Ability score ability. Let me go aimed. 
inner, inner ability skill. Ability aligned. I don't like this. Two arguments. Ah, okay. It's aligned. Doesn't matter how well, how he's aligned. Up, up, up. Get the door. Ability. Is that thing okay now? So now we every single one of these that we add, we add some complexity. And it's it's this isn't necessarily a good way to do things. This shows you a possibility, possible way of doing this that you can do. Really easy to set it. Really, really complex to retrieve it. And there are ways to simplify this a bit. We're going to pass. We're going to pass. Yeah. Means we go over to the character test and we say go to ten. Space right in there. Now we can do this for different ones. Security, Education. intelligence, um, charisma. Security, so it's going to be. Plus, so we're doing plus six, so 14, one, execution, every time after dexterity, more of those, intelligence, time after. Um, you know, just to mix it up just a little bit. Asthma. I could, of course, do this completely exhaustively. All the values of all the ability scores. I have lots and lots of tests, and it doesn't matter anymore about this, does it? Could line it all up. Don't be that guy. Don't do well. Be that guy if you want. Okay, so now at this point. All those tests should pass. I should be able to set whatever I want for all the ones. And I got 57 tests, and that's going to be it. So for today, and I will let me get that checked in. Get that in there. Changes. Setting. Ability. Scores. Have that. Get up. There. Push. You can in with kata dot dash get right there itself all right and now we're going to head on out we're gonna find somebody to raid go we'll look on the live coders see who we got
Do it, 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 do it,